Hey everyone, it's me, the Game Master 27. Welcome back to more Pokemon Soul Silver. Last time uh, we got over here to uh, the Safari Zone, and now we're gonna actually head inside. Okay, so when you first walk inside, this old dude, which we met a while back before heading into Olivine City, uh, he'll come up to you, and I think he says he wants you to go catch him a Geodude out in Safari Zone. So, uh, yeah, let's go do that. Oh, yeah. You need to talk to this guy, you need to give him 500 Poké Dollars to get in. He'll give you 30 Park Balls. And yeah, let's head inside. Alright, so. Uh, we got... I think this is the map. There's like all different sections of uh, the Safari Zone. And whoops. Okay, so we got an underleveled Magneton you could catch. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, uh, I believe this, this is the mountainside of, uh, part of the Safari Zone. This is the boggy part of the Safari Zone. Um, let's go up around, and we got into another Pokemon battle, which is, I guess, a coughing. Alright, so that's something you can catch in this section. Um, up in this section is the, for is the forest. Um, yeah, I'm gonna head over this way. Here, I don't know. I think this might be the desert or something like that. Um, what's over here is this? I think this is the second part of the bog or something. I don't really know. But, uh, yeah. You can, here's a centric. You can find centrics in here and stuff like that. Um, over here is, a, I believe, a section called the flower patch or something I'll put the link in the description of a uh, of uh, the actual part of the safari zone, of different sections with safari zone and right here we got a murkrow which I'm actually trying to catch this is the only place you can actually catch that murkrow in the entire game and of course it runs away all right so um yeah these are all the sections unlocked at the moment um, after you go catch that guy, a Geodude, I think, uh, he'll unlock more sections of, uh, Safari Zone for you, so, I'm gonna go catch a Geodude. Gonna head my, take my way back. Get another Centret. Don't care. Alright, we're back on the mountaintops. Now I'm gonna run around the grass until I find a Geodude. Oh, that's nice. First shot, we got a Geodude. <laughs> Alright, nothing. Come on, another Pokeball. Alright, we got him. Alright, we caught Geodude. No, I'm not gonna nickname him. And yeah, that's it for the Safari Zone. Um, I'm gonna go head back into the front so I can give this, the guy the Geodude that he wants. This guy says you're finished, he'll say yes. Alright, um, I'm gonna head back over to this guy. Um, I think I might need to get it out of my box. Uh, is this a box? No. Uh, okay, so I guess I need to go back to the Pokemon Center and get that Geodude out of my box. I can come and give it to him. Yeah. Gonna move around some Pokemon. Take you, dude, and I'll swap him with Umbreon just for the moment. Alright, that's all done. Now I'm gonna head back in to the Safari Zone to give this guy his Geodude. And my way, little girl. Okay, heading on up.
What the? Come on, take the geo, dude. Um. Okay. I still have the geo with me. Uh. Hmm. I'm gonna go check out Cerebi to see if I'm doing anything wrong. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a sec. Okay, I found out what uh, we needed to do. It turns out that uh, I need to wait until possibly tomorrow, because uh, he will give you a Poke Pokegear call telling you uh, that new sections of the Pokemon, I mean the Safari Zone, uh, will be opened up, and that I think uh, you'll be able to actually customize it by going over to this thing, because this is a Pokemon Safari Zone customizer thing right there. Alright, so, um, I guess that's really it for the Safari Zone. Um, yeah, I guess I'll be coming back here tomorrow morning so I could do, show you all the rest of this stuff, because now we can actually fly back and forth from here. Okay, so, um, you know what? No, I'm not gonna fly just yet, because I actually want to train a bit in this uh, grass down below in here. You can find a bunch of Pokemon in their 20, so it's great, great training. Like right here, we got a Vulpix on level 20. I mean, it's not 22, 20, yeah, yeah, 22, not 20, never mind. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna be training up in here and stuff like that. And we got another Vulpix. Just Dragon Rage it again, and of course you use Will-O-Wisp. Alright. Um, we got an item up over here, which is what? Something. Uh, now let's Pokemon, I wanna go to the bag. Let's check, um, oh, it's a Nugget, alright then. I'll be selling that. <laughs> Alright, a little bit more training, so that way I can get... Ooh, wow, Fira. Yeah, I'm gonna get the teeny to level 30, so that way it evolves into Dragonair. Okay, let's care of Fira. Um, got another person calling. Here, but yeah, I'm just gonna be running around so I can find more Pokemon to battle. So that way, uh, Dratini or Draga uh, will actually level up one more level so it'll evolve into Dragonair. So come on, Draga! I got another Vulpix. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I'm not really getting a lot of experience out of these fights, am I? <laughs> Alright, well really the only the Pharaohs are giving the most giving me the experience. Well pretty much everything else is only giving me like a little bit. Whoa, aerial ace. And crap. I did not know it knew you could learn aerial ace. Uh um, I'm gonna just fly. Of course, use the suit. Alright. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna head back up into this far zone to heal up and everything. I'm gonna get the teeny up to one more level because we're not really getting anywhere far. Um, okay. So, um, I guess I'll talk to you in the next part when uh, teeny will be evolved. And uh, we're going to continue on with the adventure by heading up over to Mah Mahogany Town. Alright, uh, talk to you later. Bye.